is going on? I'm Callahan913. I'm doing things a bit different today. Um, I'm using Game Capture HD. I have no Elgato. Uh, Game Capture HD or whatever the fuck you call it. And I'm trying the, uh, the live commentary thing because it's... There's just... The last couple of videos, I've recorded my voiceover externally, and when I went to add it in, it was off by way more than it should have been, and I don't understand why. So, I'm trying this, because I know it's automatically synced up, and yeah. So, I'm Callahan913, thank you for watching. No, uh, <coughs> excuse me? <coughs> No, man. Um, I don't know, this one, I like. The tune's probably going to be a bit fucky, because it's been a while since I built this one. But, you know, Road Atlanta, let's fucking do it. Um, yeah, so, what's, uh, what's up with you guys? I did finish up my Portal 2 Let's Play. I streamed it and uh, took the videos from it and uploaded them. Uh, cut it down and uploaded them. And that's when I realized, hey, the game volume is way too loud and I'm way too... Oh, that's bad entry. Yep, that's bad entry. Okay, so this car... <laughs> I think I'd have 400 horsepower, 430. Um, but yeah, I mean... I don't know, it's it's weird, because I've tuned a few cars, and it's like... They, uh... They don't feel the same a week, two weeks, a month later. So it's like, I, I don't know what the deal is there. Maybe this car just has too much power now? I, I don't know. I think that's the problem. And it gets just a little ass unhappy. Yeah, that's... That... If, you know, ah, man, my nose, ah, okay, there we go. That'll keep, that's probably why it's, that should be. So, yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, I don't know why the front end was jacked up like that. I think I was testing different things with this car. Let's see if that made it feel better. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I think this is a 2JZ swap. The, uh. Yeah, I want to say that's what it is. Like, the front feels, felt on certain cars, like, I guess heavier cars, it felt better, which would make sense, because there's, no, wrong button. Yeah, that feels a hell of a lot better. Still on the rev limit. And it just tracks around like it. Huh. Alright. Quit race. Let's go look at the uh, upgrade stuff here. And uh, Black Friday's coming up, and I'm really hoping. <clears throat> 
I can work out something to make enough to uh, buy an Xbox One because it's everywhere is going to run them for like three hundred and thirty dollars, which is the Assassin's Creed bundle, which is like one hundred and twenty bucks off to begin with. And I think like Target, you can get a fifty dollar gift card with it, and it's like that's pretty heavy. Or heavy, that's good. Oh wow. Yeah, just a little too much. Style some of the power. See if there's anything. Yeah, I noticed too. I'm real quiet at times. Um. Oh yeah, I have a bit of a cold. Like I'm still sick. Sorry about the uh, every few minutes. It's not cocaine, I swear. Because if I was on cocaine, I wouldn't be sitting here now. Oh, that's why it's on sport tires or street. And, okay. Yeah, I maxed it out. That. 205. Rent. That might help. Now I'll probably have to put that power back into it. Oh well. Yeah, so this is going swimmingly. I, I was thinking, like, oh yeah, it'll only take me a few minutes and then. Nope, I have to rebuild parts of the car. And I'm on Road Atlanta because it's, I don't know, Maple Valley is a cool track, but I'm tired of fucking looking at it. I've played that track so much that I'm just sick of it. Yeah, I think I got it right in the money. 400 horsepower. Yeah, I didn't realize the tire compound. Bad entry. Nope, we're good. Nope, we're not good. Because so I think it just reset tire pressures. Yes, it did. It's okay. You know, actually, I'm going to... Because I think that's why it's just whipping around so hard. Stop. The stick in this controller is so fun. This lower just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's see what that'll do. Yeah, that feels a bit better. I just had the car too stiff, I because now I can kind of throw it and do what I want it to do. Yeah, that feels, it's, now it feels like it's too stiff, but I know it's not stiff because if it were stiff, it would just slide or spin everywhere. So let's, oh, no. Yeah, this controller is pretty much botched. Okay, so... I want to bring it up. Oops. 
be like, oh, okay, that, that's everything I can do. If I'll just leave it how it is. Oh God, it's got a mind of its own. I built Christine's import cousin. The Adams family had cousin it. Christine has cousin Toyota. <laughs> I don't know, this is, it feels weird. I'll run another lab, but it's like... That was actually very nice. I like that one. Nope, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, this is, I never, had that problem before and it must have been like like I said with the last one when I built the cars I must have just been in the mood to drift I was kind of in the pocket because it's like um, yeah I don't get maybe that's why I put the ride height up just a little bit in the front to put it to get weight on the ass in that's what it was a lower spring that and just get it to kind of grip up. And I know people are watching this and they're just cringing. Well, I could, I could get 7 million points on Fujimi Kaido with that car. Yeah, I'm sure you could. For me, this is a fun thing, and it's like, it's kind of a trial by error learning. Oh, this isn't going to go. Yep. I don't know, this one, I'm going to go ahead and put this one out. Or I might not even do this, I might do it. But it's like, I don't know. It's, yeah, now it just grips up. And, yeah, there's a fine balance I need to find. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it at this. Uh, this is the Toyota AE86 Corolla. That's an 86. Everybody knows what it is. And with that said, Callahan 913, and sorry for the yawn.